Please tell me you got words this year. On the bright side, you get out of every presentation again. Okay, okay, I know a sarcastic clap when I see one. Maybe you'll have better luck next year. Class, your final is going to be a presentation. Please raise your hands if you do not have enough words to complete the final. It looks like just Jess. Do you think she's lied about not having words? Probably. Uh, Jess, aren't you going to say sorry for running into me? <laughs> oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> I meant talk with your mouth, Jess, not your fists. But I know you don't have the guts to hit me anyways. What, Becky? It looks like you want to say something. Oh, wait, you can't. Now you know what it feels like to not be able to defend yourself. I can't believe she punched you in the face. How are you doing? It hurts. I bet. She got you good. I probably deserved it. I stole Becky's words. You did? That's so totally awesome. It's not awesome. I feel really guilty about it. Jess, how long has Becky been making fun of you? My entire life. Exactly. Don't feel bad. And now you can finally ask out Sebastian. What? <sighs> no. Oh, please, cut the act. I know you're in love with him. It's that obvious? Yeah. Hey, Sebastian. Whoa. What? I've never heard you talk before. Oh, yeah. Your voice, it sounds really annoying. It does? Yeah, maybe you should go back to not talking. Why was he being so weird? I guess I won't be needing these. Wait. What? I'm sorry, I was lying. I think you have a beautiful voice. Then why did you say all that stuff? Because Natalie told me to. Natalie? Like my best friend, Natalie? Yeah. She told me to ask you out. Why would she tell you to reject me? Were you really going to ask me out? Yeah. Because I really want to go out with you. Really? Yeah, that's why I couldn't keep up the act and be rude to you. Okay, well text me, because right now I need to talk to Natalie. Natalie, did you tell Sebastian to reject me? Is that what he said? Not in those words, but yeah. I should have known he was a snake. So it's true. <sighs> I can explain. Please do, because I can't figure out why my best friend would do something like that. I'm the one who's been stealing your words. What? And when I found out you got more words, I was worried you were going to use them to try and ditch me again. What do you mean, again? I've never ditched you. Yes, you have. When we were five, you were going to go to Becky's birthday party, even though I wasn't invited. You were invited. You just couldn't go because you were going camping with your family. Yeah, that's pretty much the same thing. No, it's not. So because I was going to do one thing without you, you decided to steal my words every year? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds bad. It is bad, Natalie. I didn't get to have a voice because of you. I guess your fear came true, because I don't want to be your friend anymore. Jess, wait. Save it. Everyone can hear my thoughts, or everyone can see through my clothes? One of those is a whole lot more sus than the other. Wow, Mr. Franklin is looking really good today. I love that color shirt on him. Maybe I should say hi. Hi, Jess. Hi. And thanks for thinking my shirt looks nice. Wait, how did he? <gasps> I totally forgot everyone can hear my thoughts today, which means he can hear them right now. Um, no problem. See you in class. I'm gonna go die in a hole now. Jess, I got 100% on my English test. Wow, that's amazing. She's never gotten anything that high before. I wonder if she cheated. I did not cheat. I never said you did. I just hurt you. Oh, I am in big trouble now. You sure are. I can't believe you would think that. I don't actually think that. Well, for the record, I didn't cheat. <sighs> Dang it, Jess. Can you try not to lose all your friends today? Hey, Jess. Is Football Freddy really talking to me? Yeah, I am. Hello? Earth to Jess. Hi! Hi. I was wondering if maybe you wanted to- His lips look so soft, like pillows. I could probably just take a nap on them. And those muscles, don't you- Uh, never mind, Jess. I have to go. No, wait! What were you gonna say? Freddy, I love you! <sighs> Mr. John's nose is so big. I wonder if it makes it hard to see things. I bet it does with that massive pimple on his nose. Jessica? Yeah? Principal's office. Now. What? I didn't do anything. It's not what you did, it's what you thought. Ugh. Jessica, do you know why you were sent to the principal's office? Yes, because my thoughts were disrupting the class. But it's not my fault you guys can hear my thoughts. Trust me, I don't want you to hear what I'm thinking. I understand that, but on days like this, you need to be mindful of those around you and not think such disruptive thoughts. This is ridiculous. Principal Franklin can suck up. <clears throat> lollipop, lollipop, just keep singing so you don't get in trouble. 
I'm singing in my head. See how easy it is to not think disruptive things? You can go back to class now. Can't I just go home? Let's be real, I'm still gonna be a distraction. No, back to class. You stupid old <clears throat> pickup truck, you never. Jess, you came back. Yeah, I was really hoping they were gonna let me go home. Yeah, they're really strict here. One time I had the option where I had to sing everything and they still made me do my presentation. That must have been awful. Yeah, it was really hard for me. I meant for the people listening because you sound like a dying cat. Excuse me? Oops, I did it again. Would you like to reverse and hear everyone else's thoughts instead? Anything to stop people from hearing my thoughts. Big is uh, pink a color? That's a lot of people's me. thoughts at once. I want it now! Give it to her before the house catches on fire. <laughs> there you go, sweetie. I love it. Earthquake. We have to keep her neutral or she'll destroy the earth. Doctor, we can't control her emotions. You can give her one of these pills each day. It'll prevent her from feeling emotion. So we'll never hear her laugh again? Sweetheart, it's for the best. She's dangerous. Here, sweetie. Take this. Jess, don't forget your pill. Thanks, Mom. Have a good day, okay? Every day is the same. They're just days. Is Ben looking at me? Don't look! Okay, fine. Just a quick look. He's looking at you. Oh my gosh. How does my hair look? Fine. What does it feel like? To have good hair? To be happy. What do you mean? You're happy. You smile all the time. I smile because it makes others comfortable, but I don't feel anything. That's not normal, Jess. You should probably talk to the nurse about that. Maybe. So you never feel happy? No. Are you taking any medications? Yeah. This one. That's strange. What? Sweetie, no wonder you don't feel anything. That's a very high dose. You should talk to your doctor about lowering it. But don't do it on your own, okay? I don't know your medical history. You have to talk to your doctor first. Thank you. Mom, why do I have to take these pills? These are what are making me not feel anything. It's to protect you, sweetie. You have very strong emotions. But I want to know what it's like to feel. Trust me, Jess. It's better this way. Don't forget to take your pill. Taking. That's my girl. Jess, did you take your pill? Taking. Good. Have a good day. Hey, Jess. Oh, hey, Bernard. Whoa, did you feel that? Yeah, was that an earthquake? Yeah, like a mini one. Don't forget your pill. Don't worry, Mom. I'm taking it. Not your best work, Jess. Did you catch that on fire? Oops. You haven't been taking your pills, have you? Yeah, I have. Really? Then show us the bottle. No. Jess, you need to calm down. Mom, what's happening? Why are things catching on fire? We have to tell you something. Your emotions control the elements, and anger creates fires. And you never told me this before? The pills help you control your emotions. You need to take them. No. I'm out of here. Breaking news. Fires across the country have cost millions their homes. The death count is still unknown. <laughs> Sweetie, we know you're upset. I'm not upset. Really? Because California is having flash floods now. We know you're crying. I don't want to take the pills anymore. I love feeling, but my feelings hurt people. Maybe you could try something else, like meditation. Meditation? Really? It's that or the pills, Jess. Jess, Bernard wants to ask you to homecoming. Really? Whoa. Was that an earthquake? Yeah. And it was small. Why are you so excited about that? Because it just could have been a lot worse. I guess so. Let's go find Bernard. Come on.